Ladies and gentlemen, so we'll start the second panel. Thanks very much, Councillor. Um, and it's inspiring when the cities talk about homeless people and not only about removing them, and when they talk about informal settlements and not only about clearing them, but actually about dignified dignity. Um, Mayor Balendra Shah from Kathmandu, Nepal, will bring an Asian perspective and a particular one in a city that has many challenges, including on housing. Uh, maybe you will also have views about co uh, innovation and collaboration to tackle this crisis of homeless. And yeah, also thank you so much. Listening to all the panelists out there, so it's it's South Asian actually. So South Asian problems and uh, problem with other cities all over the world uh, seems to be really different because uh, not much people in our country and the cities are actually landless or homeless, but uh, they are uh, migrating from other cities, other VDCs to capital city. Kathmandu is the capital city of Nepal, so we are, uh, our approach is to find the root cause for it, and the root cause is not every city is privileged with uh, better education, better uh, health facility, and job opportunities. So our approach is to collaborate with other cities and other VDCs around the around our uh, capital uh, to collaborate with them uh, for the upliftment of their education system, upliftment of their job opportunities. So we don't promote uh, migration from uh, outer cities. So what we believe is the power, the economy, the job opportunity, uh, all over the country should be balanced. Uh, a single city should not gain all the power, all the economy, so that people come uh, all over, all over the country come to the single city. So yeah, we, we identify the people uh, we are coming from some districts, some other districts. Uh, uh, obviously, the citizenship designates uh, the place they live. So most of the people, they have their lands, but in their villages. They have their house, but in villages, but other cities. So we try to, uh, like, uh, obviously, the homeless people who does not have anything all over the country, we try to uh, collaborate with NGOs and other institutions for the fooding and shelter for those. But for those people who are just coming, uh, to capital city for job opportunity. Uh, we try to train them. We uh, use some skill festivals, train them with plumbing, electrician, uh, housing construction and uh, cookeries, uh, so that they can get job opportunities. They can create small business in their own cities, their own villages. And uh, also, uh, most of the people are migrating to some developed countries as well. So we try to promote uh, the migration of uh, people from uh, uh, the city to outer countries as well as their cities to our cities. So there should be a balance between it. So we believe in that. And obviously nobody should stay homeless. So uh, we, we identify the homelessness of people uh, if it is in actual. And also uh, South Asian uh, countries have their culture. Like our, our country have uh, 126 languages and different cultures. So evacuating a city and coming to capital city does not uh, evacuate the people, it evacuates the culture as well. It, ev it, ev it evacuates the language as well. It evacuates the cultural events, festivals, everything. So to preserve the culture, to preserve the heritage, to preserve the intangible and tangible heritages in all the cities outside the capital, we need to preserve the people out there. So we need to preserve their population. So we are promoting in uh, collaborating with them to promote their economy rather than focusing on our city and inviting the people all over the country. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, thank you.